All right, guys, we're back in Excel, and today we are going to be looking at macros. Now, you might be thinking, macros? What is macros? I know in South Africa we have a store called Macro, but it has nothing to do with a store. It's got something to do with Excel, and I'm going to show you what that means. Now, as you are looking at my screen, you can see I got message one and message two. These are little buttons. I'm going to click on the first button, and it says a macro is a recorded set of keystrokes and VBA code, you're like, ooh, what's VBA code? That can be played back with a keyboard shortcut, a button or object that the code has been attached to. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, what? This is supposed to be Excel. What's going on? Don't stress. This is gonna be like one of the easiest things you've ever done in Excel. You're gonna love this, okay? Message number two. Macros can be used to automate repetitive tasks or even be used as special programs within Excel workbooks. Now that is super cool, okay? Now what I'm, in a nutshell, all right, it's like this, a macro is simply just uh, recorded keystrokes that do something, and then you can play those keystrokes back at any time. That's the lowest form of what a macro kind of is. In fact, I used a macro to do this with message one and message two, to unhide column B and unhide column C. Because if you noticed when I started the video, they were hidden like so. And when I pressed button one, it went and unhid column B. When I pressed button two, it unhid column C. Did you notice that? I did that using macros. It was, that's easy, easy peasy. So first things first, guys, before we start with anything in Excel with macros, you've got to make sure you've got the developer toolbar able, uh, able, activated, uh, ably activated. Yes, that's what I mean to say. And how do we get the developer toolbar? Well, at this point in your, your journey of CAT, you really should know, but I'll help you guys out. Okay. If you just right click somewhere in the ribbon where there's a bit of space, you can go to customize the ribbon. Okay. That's remember, that's the quickest way for me. If you can forget about that you can just go file options and then the ribbon is down here customize ribbon okay same thing scroll down on the right hand side there it is a developer there's no checkbox next to it click and okay we now have the developer toolbar there it is right there lovely now what happens if I click the developer toolbar, I click on it and here we have our whole code group here and everything to do with macros is there. Now let us do, I'm going to just demo a basic macro for you to show you what it actually means in terms of re recorded keystrokes that we can then play back like with a button for example. So I'm going to click on demo, right. So I'm going to create a macro now that types the word hello in cell A1. That's it. That's what I'm going to do, okay? It's, it's going to type the word hello in cell A1. So I go to my developer uh, toolbar there. I go to record macro because I'm going to record my, the keystrokes that I'm doing. So I'm click on record macro. Right, let's see. Here we have our little record macro wizard. So the macro name, it's called macro1, but we're going to change that. We're going we're gonna to call that type hello. Yes shortcut key now let's give it a shortcut key so we can sort of run this by simply clicking on a keyboard shortcut so let's do control k shall we control k so when you go control k it runs the macro for us store the macro in this workbook yes that's fine and let's just tell it what it does it writes the word hello in cell uh, cell oh my word two times in a row cell A1, okay. I'm now going to record my macro. Here we go, so I click on OK, and you're going like, huh? nothing's happening. But something is happening. Okay, I've got two, two things I can see here. Number one, right at the top, it says stop recording, which means that I'm currently recording. And at the bottom as well, I've got a little square, that's a little stop button as well. And it tells me that the macro is currently recording. So here we go, I'm already in cell A1, okay. I'm going to click on cell A1, so that I'm, it's recording that I've clicked on cell A1, all right. I'm going to write the word hello, and I'm going to press enter, so that it then enters the word into cell A1. That's it, that's all I need to do, nothing else needs to happen. Let's stop recording, done. 
my macro has now been recorded. If I want to see where is this macro, I can click on my macros button and click over here and you can see, ah, here are all the macros in this workbook. Those were the two that I created. There is the one that we just recorded now. There's the name, there is the description. And I can run that by clicking on the run button. But we want to use the keyboard shortcut, see how it works. So I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to click over there. So now I'm in cell G2. There's nothing in A1. I'm going to press Control K on my keyboard right now because that's the keyboard shortcut that I attached to this macro. Control K. And there you go. It jumps to cell A1. Remember I clicked in cell A1. It writes the word hello and then presses enter to go to the next one. There you go. So every time I press that, it's going to do the same thing. Obviously, you're not going to see anything change because it's just doing the same thing over and over again. What if I wanted it to write the word hello in any cell that I was currently in? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's create a new macro. So I'm going to say record macro. I'm going to give this one and I'm going to call this one say hello to control J. Whoops, J. There we go. Control J. And I'm going to say there, writes the word, write the word hello in the current cell. Okay, so there we go. Writes the word hello in the current cell. Click OK. Now we know it's recording. Now, I'm not going to click on anything because it's going to record that. So just where I am right now, I'm just going to write the word hello and press enter. That's me done. Stop recording. Now let's test. Click over there. Control J. Beautiful. Control J. Control J. Do you see it's going back to A3? That's, uh, well, the next up. Don't worry about that, okay? That's just because that's what it did when we pressed enter. We can always take that off in the code. But as you can see, wherever I am clicking and I press Control J on my keyboard, it's writing the word hello in whatever cell I am in. Okay, and that is the playing back of the repetitive keystroke. So instead of me having to click, type in the word hello, press enter, I just use a keyboard shortcut. In the next video, the, the, the second part of this video, I'm going to go and show you a couple of macro examples and actually work through some examples with you in the video. And then you can work through those on your computer at the same time with me. And I'll also show you a couple of extra ones just for fun.